Hello, let me tell you a story. Maybe you heard it before. Once upon a time, there was a little bear who had a magical suitcase. In this suitcase, there were a lot of gadgets that gave him superpowers. A wand, some magic potions, and many other things. Little Bear was able to enjoy his life with confidence thanks to this fantastic suitcase. Whenever he needed strength, all he had to do was take it out from the suitcase. That's how he made his dreams come true, how he overcame his fears and how he lived his life without any worries. Unfortunately, he got used to seeing the bigger bears forget their suitcases and no longer believe in their magical powers. One day, Little Bear also forgot to take his suitcase. The days went by and Little Bear withdrew into himself. He no longer took his suitcase with him and forgot all about it. Perhaps you once had a suitcase full of magical tools, just like this one. It was full of strength that allowed you to overcome all your fears and make all your dreams come true. Do you remember having this suitcase? You know, right there inside of you. Little Bear was unhappy. In one day, his grandmother came to visit him with his favorite coconut milk pancakes. She noticed that her beloved little bear was not feeling well, so she asked him a few questions. Little bear confessed that he wasn't feeling good and that he lacked self-confidence. He said that his friends at school didn't play with him anymore and that some of them even made fun of him. Astonished, Grandma Bear raised her eyebrows and asked, But why don't you use your suitcase with all your superpowers? Why don't you use the confidence mirror so that your friends and all the other bears can see you for what you really are? They're only bothering you because you're not using your suitcase right now. The world is not seeing you for what you really are. If you forget how wonderful you are, how are your friends going to see it? Hurry, go get your suitcase so that you can all recover your vision. Little Bear suddenly remembered the suitcase he had forgotten with time. Quick, he jumped to his feet and searched his whole room to find it. But it wasn't there anymore. Luckily, Mama Bear was hiding behind the kitchen door and heard everything. She came in and said, Don't worry, my darling. I put away your suitcase. It's safe in the attic. Come with me and we'll get it. Little Bear stood in front of the ten steps leading to the attic. His heart was beating faster because he knew that he was going to get his confidence, his joy and his magical powers back at last. Are you as excited as Little Bear? Are you in a hurry to find that suitcase too? First step, second step, third step, fourth step. Every step brought Little Bear closer to his suitcase. How could he forget his suitcase? How could he forget all the resources that were part of him, that belonged to him all his life? On the fifth step, Little Bear's body was shivering with joy. He was almost there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He finally reached the attic. It was there, right there in front of him, in the middle of the room. A big smile appeared on Little Bear's face. Maybe you can see that smile. 
Maybe you are smiling too now because you are feeling the same way little bear felt at that moment. The suitcase was full of dust, but it still shined with a thousand colors. Can you see all those colors? Little bear walked up to the suitcase, blew away all the dust. Do you recognize the suitcase in the middle of the room? What color is your own suitcase? What shape is it? Maybe it has a special texture or a specific smell. Perhaps you can open your suitcase at the same time as Little Bear. Go ahead, open it. Suddenly, all the confidence and strength went back into Little Bear, like a cool breeze. Do you feel this strength? Look. It's coming in through your head and your whole body like a lightning bolt that instantly gives you back all the power you need. Little Bear understood that he could not live without his suitcase because it was part of him. He had all the power and strength he needed to go wherever he wanted to go. Little Bear was happy and went to see his grandmother to give her a big hug. He thanked her for reminding him that he had all the keys and powers to move forward in life. When he went to school the next day, his friends looked at him differently because he had realized the qualities he had. The world would finally see him for what he was. Like you, Little Bear is now able to fulfill all his dreams because nothing can stop him anymore. I don't know if you know about this, but every child in the world has a magical suitcase. I'm sure you also have many magical tools. As soon as you are done listening to this story, you will remember all the qualities, all the strengths that are within you. From now on, you will be able to draw them or make a list of all these things. You will be able to use them tomorrow for hours, days, months, and years, whenever you need them, whenever you need strength or confidence or sleep or whatever, you just have to think about this magical suitcase. All of a sudden, the strength, the solution, the resource, the remedy you need will appear to you. You will be able to fulfill all your dreams. Just like Little Bear, you have a lot of power. I'm going to tell you a secret. I heard that all the children in the world have a magical suitcase and that all those who listen to this story will keep it forever, even when they grow up. That's the way it is. See you soon, Little Bear. <laughs>